Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ben Layson, and as you can see with me putting on my suit jacket and the title above, we're gonna be talking about Indochino today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. So this video is gonna be like an experience with uh, my more of my anecdotal experience with Indochino in their storeroom, as well as my friend um, Jason's. It's kind of nice because we're both really drastic body types. Mine is I'm able to find a lot of stuff off the rack that already fits pretty well, but him being a smaller size. Um, off the rack is not really an option, especially when it comes to suits. So we're just gonna go ahead and you know talk about the experience with them, and then you can kind of see for yourself based on how it fits. Uh, you can get your own opinion whether it's worth it or not, and of course I'll give you mine as well. So the whole experience with Indochino was pretty easy actually. We went into the storeroom, and it was about 20 minutes of measuring. Um, prior to doing anything else, they just got off measurements right away. They were measuring everything from the circumference of your thighs, to your calves, to the lengths of your arms, um, everything around your seat area to get the pants to fit. And it was really like a hand-holding process because they did it for you. Of course, you're able to do that at home with someone else who can help you with the tape measure also. Um, they do have guides online on how to measure that you can follow, I'm pretty sure, or you can just look them up. And then after that, they gave us cutout or like template pieces that they had um, us put on and then they would also do some final pinning and this was just to get more of like an accurate fit and they would adjust the measurements even more even by like a few half an inches or something like that just to get the fit going perfectly and then that whole process was probably around like 30 minutes to 40 minutes and there's is just really easy to do and then the fun part comes after is when you get to pick all the customization options with Indochino they help you out with the measurements and build the suit for you and of course, you come into play with that by building the suit for yourself. So you're able to first off pick the suit color or fabric that you want. Um, I personally went with their Hereford Calverly Twill Indigo suit. Um, I thought navy blue would be a perfect option for a for suit. And then they also did provide some insight. Um, they talked you through it. They asked you what you're wearing the suit for, stuff like that. And they gave us some color recommendations. And they also have a seasonal area, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's where Jason's suit came from actually. His was on a mannequin. He decided to go for it and that was the uh, that was the season template they had going, fabric. And after that you get it, you can be able to choose the suit lining. And then you, something else pretty cool, you can get a monogram, which is like a custom text. Um, I did that too right here. As you can see what I put is kind of a little bit corny, I know. I didn't really know what to put. And then other than that, you can choose the lapels, the buttons, um, the shoulder type. The amount of buttons you want on it, the vents, um, and then after you choose all of that, it's just it just really wrapped up quick. You pay, and it's arrived at your door within two weeks. And then from there, if you don't like how it fits, you're able to take it in and get it altered some more, or you can take it to another tailor, and I think they cover up to like eighty dollars in alterations. All right, so going on to the review slash opinions with this, whether I think it's worth it or not. Um, first, I should probably talk about the fit. Uh, when I got the suit, the blazer fit pretty well. Um, as you can see now, there's not really any restrictions with it. There's not any bagginess to it. It just fits uh, as it should with a made-to-measure suit. However, with um, translating the measurements from just your body to having it constructed, there is a little bit of error. So I had to go in and get the pants because they weren't fitting how I wanted them to. Uh, I was going for more of like a slim crop look with them. and. They weren't fitting like the templates I tried on. Uh, they were a little bit looser. I think that was just for some air or something like that. But either way, it was a problem easily fixed. I was able to take it in and get them tailored again at the store. That was another two week process. Uh, so that was like the only con I would have to say about this whole experience. And then the pants fit immaculately now. The whole suit looks put together. It fits me like it should. And that's just um, my opinion. So as you can see, I like the suit. And then Jason also loved his suit. He's not here in this video, unfortunately. And then just overall, this is a really good place to start Indochino. The whole process was really handheld. So because of that, if you don't really know where to get into suits, um, what you're looking for, stuff like that, this is a really good place to go. The price is about twice as cheap as like suit supply. 
Uh, I personally haven't bought from Suit Supply before, so I can't really compare it. But just based on the price alone and the fact that the suit already fits pretty much like 90% of the way there, um, fit-wise, I can't really see much reason for going the different route unless you want something that's going to last you your life. Uh, but again, I haven't tried Suit Supply. Um, ultimately, Made to Measure really works well. Uh, as I said before, I kind of can fit anything off the rack. If you saw my last video with Mango Man, uh, that suit was off the rack pretty much. I just took it to the tailor and get some final adjustments. So if you're like, have a kind of like an odd body shape, if you're too tall, too short, anything like that, made to measure really works well. As you can see with Jason, uh, he was not really able to find anything off the rack for like, cause sleeves would be too, too long, um, blazer length would be too long or something like that. And it's just perfect for him because he looks amazing in the suit. And uh, it's, if, you're low, if you know what you're looking for in suits and you know what your measurements need, stuff like that, and you already have like a good place off the rack, you can just take it to the tailor. Um, I don't know if the Indochino price is worth it. So yeah, it's just a really good place to start out, guys. I would recommend trying it. It's definitely not going to um, hurt the bank too much as like other places would. So if it does work for you, it worked for Jason fit-wise. It was pretty perfect. He could buy suits there. Um, they have his measurements saved, so he can just buy whatever fabric he wants next time around, and it'll be the same fit. Uh, one thing to note though is the quality. The stitching isn't perfect on it, so that's like another bad con about it. However, the fit trumps all of it, and I just really think it's a good place to start out for you guys. So that was my experience with Indochino. Go check them out, guys. Um, I'll have the suit I'm wearing right now linked if I can, if it's still there. I believe it was on sale when I bought it, so I don't know what it's like right now. And then I also have Jason's suit listed down below if it also works. Alright guys, and also if you're new here, I do have an Instagram. Uh, I just started it. It's a few posts. Go check it out. Uh, I'll have the link in the description down below. And then also, uh, I will see you all next week.